Pluto, a distant, elusive, and once fully recognized member of our solar system, has long intrigued astronomers, though reclassified as a dwarf planet. It has recently re-entered public discourse due to groundbreaking statements from renowned astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Miyoku. These experts have proposed a startling possibility. Pluto might be on a trajectory that could bring it dangerously close to Neptune, perhaps even on a potential collision course. But how plausible is such an event? What would the cosmic consequences be? Are we witnessing a rare anomaly, or is there a deeper celestial mechanism at play? Join us as we delve into the mystery surrounding a possible Pluto-Neptune encounter. Though Pluto was demoted from planetary status in 2006, it remains a subject of fascination within the astronomical community. Recent insights from leading experts suggest that Pluto's orbit brings it alarmingly close to Neptune's, prompting concern about a potentially catastrophic interaction between the two icy bodies, an event that could even impact Earth. But how could such a collision happen? Pluto's orbit is unlike any other in the solar system. It takes 248 Earth years to complete just one trip around the Sun, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, Pluto still hasn't completed a full orbit. Its path is notably elliptical and inclined, tilted about 17 degrees compared to a flat plane in which most planets orbit. This gives Pluto a highly irregular and complex trajectory. Even more unusual, Pluto's orbit actually intersects Neptune's. For approximately 20 years during each orbital cycle, Pluto comes closer to the Sun than Neptune does, momentarily appearing to swap places. Naturally, this raises a critical question. Why haven't these two bodies collided? The answer lies in the intricate mechanics of celestial dynamics. After Pluto's discovery, astronomers began analyzing its unusual orbit. Despite the alarming crossover with Neptune's path, the orbits of these two bodies are stabilized by several key factors. Chief among them is something known as mean motion resonance. Specifically, Pluto and Neptune are locked in a 3 colon 2 orbital resonance. For every three orbits Neptune completes, Pluto completes two. This resonance ensures that the two objects are never in the same place at the same time. Adding another layer of protection is non-concurrent libration a gravitational dance that keeps Pluto and Neptune at least 90 degrees apart whenever their orbits intersect. This spatial separation is critical in preventing collisions. Another stabilizing force is orbital precession, the slow and steady shift in Pluto's orbital orientation. When Pluto comes closest to Neptune, it's typically well above or below the plane of Neptune's orbit, thanks to its steep tilt. A more recent and lesser-known factor is the VSK wobble, a concept introduced by researchers Zell, Tsai, and Kai. This phenomenon describes the subtle gravitational interactions between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, which cause a long-term wobble in Pluto's path. Despite appearing chaotic, this wobble adds a degree of long-term stability to Pluto's orbit. Together, these phenomena demonstrate the principles of the three-body problem, the complex gravitational relationship between three celestial bodies. Predicting the future positions of Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun requires advanced simulations and mathematical modeling due to the dynamic and interdependent nature of their interactions. Indeed, numerical simulations conducted in the late 1980s confirmed that, despite its odd path, Pluto's orbit is stable over millions, even billions, of years. While the idea of a Pluto-Neptune collision makes for a dramatic headline, Current astrophysical understanding suggests that such an event remains extraordinarily unlikely. Pluto's orbit is actually quite erratic. Small deviations in its initial conditions can result in significant changes to its trajectory over centuries. Despite this apparent instability, simulations have shown that Pluto's orbit remains remarkably stable over incredibly long periods, spanning millions or even billions of years. To truly understand the relationship between Pluto and Neptune, it's essential to consider the gravitational influence of the outer giants, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn. Neptune plays a particularly crucial role by holding Pluto in a unique orbital resonance. For every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This three colon two resonance acts as a stabilizing force, keeping the two bodies from ever coming too close. However, Neptune isn't the only planet influencing Pluto's path. Jupiter, with its immense gravitational pull, also helps stabilize Pluto's orbit, 
while Saturn contributes to this complex gravitational balance. Together, these giant planets act like cosmic gatekeepers, preventing chaos and ensuring that Pluto maintains a relatively safe trajectory, free from collision with Neptune. Without these gravitational checks and balances, our solar system would likely be far more chaotic, with planets at risk of colliding or being flung from their orbits. The possibility of a future Pluto-Neptune collision, though highly unlikely, underscores just how delicate and interconnected these cosmic forces are. Despite its seemingly chaotic motion, Pluto's orbit is a powerful example of celestial harmony. The concept of orbital chaos refers to how even minor changes in a celestial body's speed or position can drastically alter its long-term path. In Pluto's case, automated simulations have revealed that while its orbit is stabilized by factors such as orbital resonance and precession, it's also highly sensitive to initial conditions, making long-term predictions extremely challenging. Still, over geological timescales, Pluto's path remains relatively stable, proving that beneath the appearance of randomness lies an underlying order. Studying these dynamics not only helps us understand Pluto's behavior, but also provides broader insights into how gravitational forces shape the architecture of our solar system. Predicting the motion of irregular bodies like Pluto is one of the great challenges of astrophysics. Numerical models help scientists simulate and forecast such movements, but their accuracy relies heavily on having precise starting data. Even the smallest miscalculation can lead to vastly different outcomes. Beyond the technicalities of orbital mechanics, Pluto's story reflects the ever-evolving nature of our understanding of the universe. Despite all the advances we've made, Pluto continues to remind us of how much there still is to discover. So why are some prominent astrophysicists raising concerns about a possible Pluto-Neptune collision, despite the stabilizing forces at work? Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the leading voices in astrophysics and a key figure behind Pluto's reclassification from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers thoughtful insights into the complexities and mysteries of our solar system. His perspective highlights how celestial mechanics is a constantly evolving field, and Pluto's uncertain future remains a topic of fascination and ongoing research. In understanding Pluto's place in the ever-evolving architecture of our solar system, Neil deGrasse Tyson views its reclassification not as a loss, but as a necessary adjustment in light of our expanding knowledge of celestial bodies. Tyson's perspective on celestial mechanics embraces continuous discovery and transformation, he sees Pluto's complex and eccentric orbit as a powerful reminder of how much we still have to uncover about the universe. Although Tyson remains optimistic about space exploration, his comments on the potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision highlight the many unresolved questions we face. Could Pluto truly collide with Neptune, or is this just a fleeting misunderstanding in the cosmic choreography of the outer solar system? Only time and further research will reveal the answer. What is certain for now is that our curiosity deepens, and with it, our desire to better understand the mysteries that remain in our own celestial neighborhood. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision sparks compelling questions about planetary dynamics. Such an event would not only redefine our understanding of orbital behavior, but also offer rare insights into the evolution of the solar system. To grasp the nature of such a hypothetical impact, it's important to examine the vastly different properties of both planets. Pluto, though classified as a dwarf planet, contains frozen elements like nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide due to the extreme cold of its environment. Its surface is blanketed in nitrogen ice, while its thin atmosphere mirrors the same elements. In contrast, Neptune is a colossal gas giant composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, surrounded by a dense, dynamic atmosphere. A collision between such dissimilar worlds will be nothing short of spectacular, an event potentially observable across great cosmic distances. Yet, it's important to acknowledge the stabilizing role that other planets play in this scenario. Neptune, while directly influencing Pluto's orbit, isn't the only gravitational player. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, and Saturn also exert significant gravitational forces that contribute to the overall balance in the outer solar system. These interactions collectively reduce the likelihood of a catastrophic Pluto-Neptune encounter. More importantly, Pluto and Neptune are locked in precise 3 colon 2 orbital resonance, 
Pluto completes two orbits around the Sun for every three of Neptunes. This resonance acts like a cosmic safety mechanism, ensuring that although their orbits intersect, they never physically collide. Often referred to as a gravitational dance, this synchronization is a remarkable example of natural harmony amidst the apparent chaos of space. However, this celestial equilibrium is not guaranteed forever. Tiny changes in the positions or velocities of these planets, caused by external forces, such as a passing star, the gravitational tug of an unknown distant object, or even slow internal orbital shifts, could one day disrupt this resonance. Such disturbances could lead to unpredictable consequences in the outer solar system. One such external factor is the theoretical Planet Nine, a yet undiscovered massive object believed to exist far beyond Pluto. Some scientists propose that its gravitational pull might alter the orbits of transeptunian objects, including Pluto, potentially destabilizing their current positions. While the existence of Planet Nine remains speculative, the possibility adds another layer of intrigue to an already complex system. Beyond planetary interactions, it's also essential to consider the broader evolution of the solar system itself. Our Sun, the central anchor of all planetary orbits, is gradually losing mass through solar wind. This slow loss weakens its gravitational grip, causing the orbits of all planets, Pluto and Neptune included, to slowly expand over time. As their distances from the Sun increase, their orbital dynamics may shift in subtle but meaningful ways. Additionally, the outer solar system is far from a quiet place. Comets and other small celestial bodies frequently pass through, occasionally exerting minor gravitational nudges. While such interactions are rare and unpredictable, they could still have long-term effects on planetary motion. Taken together, these factors ensure that Pluto's orbit remains dynamic, constantly reshaped by the complex and delicate gravitational interplay among the planets. As our technology and observational capabilities advance, scientists will continue refining their models, unlocking deeper insights into the stability and future of Pluto's path. Whether or not a collision with Neptune ever becomes plausible, studying these cosmic relationships will remain key to understanding the grand mechanics of our solar system.